Are you looking for job in clinical research? And want to learn about informed consent and work as informed consent manager by working closely with site manager and protocol manager, then this video will be very important for you. So do watch this video till end. In this video, we will learn what is informed consent form as per ICH GCP? What does informed consent document contains? What are elements of the informed consent process? So let us begin. As new medical products are being developed, no one knows for sure how well they will work or what risks they will find. Clinical trials are used to answer questions such as, are new medical products safe enough to outweigh the risks related to the underlying condition? How should the product be used? For example, the best dose, frequency, or any special precautions necessary to avoid problems. How effective is the medical product at relieving symptoms, treating or curing a condition? The main purpose of clinical trials is to study new medical products in people. It is important for people who are considering participation in a clinical trial to understand their role as a subject of research and not as a patient. These participants are required to sign informed consent form before participation in study. So let us learn what is informed consent form. As per ICHGCP, informed consent is a process by which a subject voluntarily confirms his or her willingness to participate in a particular trial after having been informed of all aspects of the trial that are relevant to the subject's decision to participate. Informed consent is documented by means of a written, signed, and dated informed consent form. Do remember that the term informed reflects the fact that the subject has been fully informed about the clinical trial prior to enrollment through patient information leaflet or other documents. As per ICHGCP, these points should be included in the informed consent form. 1. Study purpose, document must state, trial involves research and purpose of the trial. 2. Study treatment and randomization, document must state about trial treatment and probability for randomization. 3. Study procedure, procedures to be followed, including all invasive procedures, participants' responsibilities, and duration of the trial. 4. Risk of taking part in the study, reasonably foreseeable risks or inconveniences to the participant. 5. Benefits of taking part in the study, that is reasonably expected benefits should be explained. 6. Alternatives to taking part in the study, means alternative procedure or course of treatment that may be available to the participant. 7. Costs of participation and compensation in the event of injury. Document must state compensation and or treatment available to the participant in the event of trial-related injury. 8. Payment for taking part in the study, the anticipated prorated payment, if any, to the participant for participating in the trial. 9. Voluntary nature of study, participation in the trial is voluntary, participants may refuse to participate or withdraw from the trial, at any time, without penalty or loss of benefits. 10. Confidentiality of personal information, the monitor, auditor, IRB, and regulatory authority will be granted direct access to the participants' original medical records for verification of clinical trial procedures and or data. 11. New information that may affect study participation. Participant must be informed in timely manner if new information becomes available that may impact participants' willingness to continue participation in the trial. 12. Study contacts, the person to contact for further information regarding the trial and the rights of trial participants in the event of trial-related injury. 13. Duration of participation and number of people taking part in the study, the expected duration of the participants' participation in the trial and approximate number of participants involved in the trial. Now let us learn that a valid informed consent must be based on the following. First, capacity to give informed consent. The potential participant must be capable of understanding his or her actions and making an informed decision. 
If the person lacks capacity because he or she is a minor, is ill, or for any other reason, special provisions must apply, such as a life-threatening emergency, or the person may not be included in the study. Second, disclosure of all relevant information. The research team must disclose all relevant information about the study to the potential participant. The information should enable the potential participant to make an informed decision about whether to participate or not. Third, comprehension by the participant. The potential participant must understand the information disclosed to him or her about the research study. The participant is free to ask questions to the study team as well as take additional time to make a decision regarding participation. The informed consent document might include a quiz or other documented assessment to assess whether the participant truly understands the study. Fourth, voluntary agreement by the participant. The participant must agree to participate in the research study and his or her agreement must be voluntary and free from coercion or undue influence. And fifth, right to withdraw. The participant must be informed that he or she has a right to withdraw from the study at any time and for any reason, without penalty or loss of benefits that he or she would otherwise be entitled to receive. Hope you have understood informed consent. You can get into job of informed consent manager where you will be responsible creating informed consent, work closely with site managers and protocol managers to ensure language in the informed consent is aligned with protocol objective and country regulation. In the next video we will learn about special requirements concerning the consent of pregnant women and consent of children. So, till we meet next time, take care of yourself, keep learning. If you think iBuddy is helping you with these learning videos, we request you to subscribe our YouTube. Thanks for watching.